Hey everyone, Vizerlo here. So, I'm not gonna make a video talking about the whole Metroid Prime 4 situation because I've already- I feel like that's already been talked about and I- you can probably guess what my opinion is gonna be on it. However, something that I do want to talk about that is related to Metroid Prime is the possibility of the Metroid Prime Trilogy coming to the Nintendo Switch prior to Prime 4. Now, this is my first time making a video on this because, really, this is actually one of the first times I've heard about this. It's basically, from what I've seen, it hasn't been as significant of a rumor as some other rumors about games being being ported to the Switch and trilogies and remasters and a whole bunch of other games that are going to be coming to Switch. But I wanted to talk about this because I feel like for a lot of Metroid Prime fans, this is the perfect appetizer, really, because after Prime 4 was essentially majorly delayed, now if you really are into the Metroid series, what are you going to have to play besides the original Metroid on the Nintendo Switch emulator that comes when you get the Nintendo Switch Online service? Like, literally, that's the only way to play a Metroid game on the Switch right now, unless you get, like, an indie metroidvania sort of game like that but anyway i'm sort of getting off topic what i really want to talk about is the prime trilogy rumor so essentially it's been growing around for a while now but it's actually now starting to build up steam so game informer's senior editor his name is imran khan i might have just butchered his name entirely but he had a compilation of tweets that went out and they sort of well, you'll have to see them for yourself. And that's because when you really think about it, it actually is a very interesting idea of what Imran is proposing that Nintendo is doing th to handle the entire Prime situation, essentially. So to quote all three of the tweets, he said, First, hearing that the big problem with MP4 development was Nintendo's experimental ad hoc development process, it was being made in parts in different countries. Some studios were trucking along saying it was going smoothly, while it was on fire elsewhere. And he's referring to Metroid Prime 4 and how it was essentially just development hell. His second tweet reads, Internal thinking was that it needs to be all done under one roof to right the ship. Retro made the pitch for their involvement and put together a demo that Nintendo liked. Again, something that you wouldn't exactly expect, but sort of does make sense when you think about it. His third tweet then reads, Some clarification. I think the trilogy was just meant to be announced in December, not necessarily at the Game Awards. I haven't heard specifically it was supposed to be there, and I doubt it. So what he's saying is that, quote him, it's been long done, and Metroid Prime Trilogy, the one that, you know, released on the Wii, should be coming on the Switch soon. Now, if this is true, which it very well could not be true, this is probably the smartest decision for the company to make, because you have fans who are, let's just say, not too thrilled about the fact that a game that they were really looking forward to has been pushed back, say, three years? At the very least, it's going to be until 2021, 2022, until we're going to see Metroid Prime 4, and it could very well go to 2023. So, people aren't too happy about that, but releasing an appetizer like this article describes, that's probably the best decision for Nintendo to make. Now, there's a lot of ways that Nintendo could re-release the Wii entry. It's probably not going to be any of these, it's probably just going to be its own standalone title, but Nintendo could maybe have some Nintendo Switch Online integrated features into it. I don't mean like online, I mean like if you have Nintendo Switch Online, you maybe get a discount or you just get like maybe access to one of the Prime games, like maybe Prime 1, and you can get the other ones for like a fee or something. It's of course just an idea, but who knows, maybe they'll go, maybe Nintendo will go the way of Microsoft and make like a, may, like just like how Microsoft made that Halo 5 Master Chief Collection game, maybe you'll be able to pre-order Prime 4 and get the Prime Metroid Prime Trilogy for free or something like that. But in reality, it's probably if they are going to release a Prime Trilogy, it's most likely going to be its own standalone title. But I am almost 100% sure that the Prime Trilogy is going to be... It's going to happen on the Switch. It's going to happen and it is going to probably sell a lot because people who are looking forward to Prime 4... At this point, probably are probably are not happy 
with the fact that their game is going to take so long and just just basically giving them something that's just a re-experience, you know, just imagine the possibilities of playing Metroid Prime wherever you are. And that will also build up more hype for Prime 4. And that could even possibly for Nintendo too. People like me who are not really invested in the Metroid series or haven't tried a Prime game, that could get them into the Prime series and get them to buy Prime 4. Because you have to also keep in mind that, because you also have to keep in mind that when the Wii version of the Metroid Prime trilogy came to the Wii U, its price was about $20. So that's going to be a huge incentive to a lot of people to get into the Metroid Prime series. And then after that, if, the, if you really hook them on that, which I heard that the first three Prime games are amazing. So if, I, if they're really that good and I can play them wherever, which, wherever I am, basically, and whenever I want, then that could hook me on Prime 4. However, this very well could not happen. It really depends. I do want it to happen, but in reality, who knows? But anyway, that is my opinion, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave your opinion in the comments. And as always, see you.